move this real quick while I got it. Well, I got a chance. I'm gonna move. Okay. Sorry, guys. So what's good? <clears throat> video. Um, new video. Hopefully, gonna be going up. So, real quick. I seen yet another shitty movie by the same guy who makes shitty movies um and I know what you're thinking why do I keep watching his movies when the real question is why does Hollywood keep giving this guy movie money like why do they keep green lining his movies <clears throat> and understand I'm not saying all his movies are shit but when the high majority of your movies suck because your highest selling point is what is the twist in the movie what makes this movie unsuspected like what what's what's the unsuspecting point of this movie is the uh, seller because let's let's tell the truth M. Night Shyamalan I'm calling you out I don't give a damn the high 80 to 90 percent of your films are pure shit they start off great but somewhere between the halfway mark and the very end it's almost like you give up and I call it like I see it and that's what I see every time I plug in one of your movies Devil was not one of them. Devil was like, you got your shit together and you wanted to make a good fucking movie because whoever the fuck gives you money said, if you don't produce a movie from beginning to end that's worth a fuck, I'm never giving you money again. And you got your shit together and you gave us Devil and Devil was actually worth a fuck. But it was under the radar. <laughs> like, when you talk M. Night Shyamalan, it's usually signs. But it's hardly ever Devil. It's never, After Earth is one of Will Smith's worst movies. You have a great actor like Will Smith in one of your movies, and it sucks. You see something here? You have a great actor like Mark Wahlberg in one of your movies, and it sucks. The happening wasn't good. It wasn't happening. Um, <clears throat> what else? What was it? The Village? It w w wasn't that the one that came out after Signs? It was a horrible follow-up to Signs. Everyone started doubting you. The Last Airbender is it, so mixed. It's so mixed. But at least it was outside that. There's a twist. At least it was outside that. So I give it a pass. I was like, you know what? It's outside that bullshit realm he created that is horrible. <clears throat> um, and it didn't seem like you gave up during that movie. To me, at least. To me, it didn't seem like you gave up. I don't know what the hell you were thinking about with this last movie, The Visit. But about halfway through, I knew exactly what the fuck was going on. Halfway through, I knew exactly what the fuck was going on. I watched the preview and pretty much figured out what the fuck was going on. <clears throat> this movie sucked. I don't know what fucking studio keeps green lighting your fucking movies. It might look great on paper. You know what? That's what they make these for. Books. They look great on paper. They look good in here. But when you make the movies, they look like shit. You know what another movie looks great on paper but looks like shit in reality? The Human Fucking Centipede. It can look great on paper, but in reality, that movie fucking sucks. And I know I'm one person stating this, and one person against a little cult following of maybe three, four thousand means jack shit. Okay. But I know I'm not the only person who thinks the visit was a piece of shit. I'm not the only person who thinks the happening 
happens to fucking blow. I have it in my movie collection. I'm going to be honest with you. The only reason I have it is because I like Mark Wahlberg movies. I never watched The Happening. I think it's still in the cellophane. I bought it just to be like, you know what? I have it for the Mark Wahlberg collections that I'm building because I like his movies. But that's what you do, isn't it, M. Night Shyamalan? You get really good actors to star in your movies. And no matter how good they could possibly be, your script is fucking horrible. Your product fucking sucks. Devil is the exception. Signs is the exception. The Airbender, whatever it was called, is on the half mark. Half of us love it, half of us hate it. Your movies that are okay versus your movies that are pure shit, man, it's such a gray area. And I know there's going to be people who disagree with me on that. You're entitled to your opinion. But I feel the same way about another movie creator. I'm just glad he's got another day job. And I'm looking directly at you, Rob Zombie. Houses of a Thousand Corpses. You stepped into Hollywood with Houses of a Thousand Corpses. Bro, I know people who followed you since day one in your music career who hate that fucking movie. Who hate that movie so much that they literally were like waiting for solid reviews for your follow-up movie. Like, they had to wait on fans who were as hardcore as them about your music to come back on The Devil's Rejects just before they'd even think about seeing that piece of shit. You see what I'm saying? That movie was so bad, I was like, he's never gonna get greenlit again for another fucking movie. And then it took me thinking, wait, he's got enough money backstocked, he can greenlight whatever the fuck he wants because he's just that rich from his first job. And you think I'm full of shit? Look at it this way. House of a Thousand Corpses. Horrible fucking movie. Devil's Rejects. Mixed reviews. Certain people love it, certain people hate it. I'm one of those who hate it. You have Halloween Remake. Great fucking movie. However, you can't fuck that up. You're just basically following the formula of one John Carpenter with a little twist here and there. You can't fuck it up. Then what did he do? He went out on his own. He took a chance and he went out on his own and he made the worst Halloween to date. Halloween 2. You think I'm full of shit? You can find all this. It's on Google. <laughs> it's it's right there in your movie stores, wherever you buy movies at, bro. It's all right there. And if you're like me and you watch movies, you'll see what I'm saying. Chances are, you probably don't have a lot of them like Shyamalan movies. I know I don't. I have one, The Happening, and that's because, like I said before, I collect Mark Wahlberg movies. I really do. I even have a Transformers movie, and I didn't like that one that much. I also happen to like a lot of the uh, guy who made the Transformer movies. I like his movies. Michael Bay? Yeah, I like his movies. I know that's unpopular to say. I don't care. I like his movies. I like this uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I have it. I have Transformers 1, 2, and 3. I have all four of the Transformers movies. When they come out with five, I'll be right there to see it. I like those. Um, when Michael Bay usually makes the movie, I usually go see it. Because I know it's going to be over the top. I expect that. Um, do I expect perfection? No, I just expect it to be over the top. That's it. I mean, it's kind of like the new Sylvester Stallone movies. I don't expect a whole lot. I don't expect Rocky from back then. He's not the same guy. He's older now. He can't produce Rocky. Which is why we have the Expendables that went from an R rating to PG-13. Which nobody seems to have cared about. Yet, yeah, I've still yet to see the Expendables 3 because a whole shit ton of R-rated action at heroes now acting like a bunch of kid heroes when you're sitting there going okay Arnold shoot that motherfucker and call him a dumbass but he won't and he don't doesn't appeal to me 
when you're used to Arnold as Terminator. You see what I'm saying? It's a difference. But that's what I wanted to talk to y'all about, man. Like I said, I watched that fucking movie, The Visit, and I literally sat there with, for the first five minutes with my girlfriend while he's watching this movie going, are they going to tell me that M. Night Shyamalan is got majority to do with this fucking movie? Because I already don't like this guy. I already don't like almost every project he's done. Devil is an exception. Signs is an exception. And what else? There's like a hand. There's like three or four projects. Three to four projects that he's done that I give the exception to. Episode one of Wayward Pines, I give an exception to because he only worked on that one episode and then he left the whole thing to someone else. So, again, he's got exceptions, but his career is flawed in a little bit. And I still want to know how in the fuck he makes big budget movies when majority of them are fucking horrible. And they rely on, what a twist. And the fucked up part is, what a twist. You see that shit coming more than halfway before you get to the part where you reveal the fucking twist. If you want the what a twist to be a what a twist moment, meaning surprise, maybe don't make it so fucking obvious. Anyway, it's it been your boy. I just had to get that out. I just felt kind of fucked up because, like I said, we saw this movie. We paid to see this movie. And I feel like when you pay to see a bad movie, you should be able to get the shit that you just saw out and give your opinion on it. And as always, man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all next time, man. Deuces.